All right, so again, today we're going to be going over the new agent website platform. Uh, for this class, we are going to start with the basics. And we're going to go over how to customize some of the default information that's being loaded onto your uh, new KW websites. So to start, um, you do want to log into your command platform. Uh, that's going to be agent.kw.com. If you have any trouble logging in, um, always keep in mind that your username is not case sensitive. However, your username and password, uh, I'm sorry, your password is. So make sure that you are not adding any extra spaces. You can always click on the little eyeball to check and make sure you know what, um, what password you're entering. So before we dive into our uh, command, uh, one of the things, um, I have a couple of tabs that I'm actually going to go over with you. So the first tab that I have open is going to be our, our um, website. That's scholarroymarketing.com. <clears throat> now, on our marketing website, uh, you're going to have a section uh, that's going to show under agent resources. You're going to have this new KW agent websites. Now, when you go to click on resources, it may ask you to enter your market center pa uh, market center number or a password. Um, your market center number um, it varies depending on which market center you're a part of. Um, if you do not know your market center number, um, you may need to just get that from a staff member. Um, you can also, um, they were available on my KW, but I believe they no longer show the market center numbers on there. Um, but so this is going to be um, the new agent websites under the agent resources. Sorry. Um, so this is going to show you the um, the trainings that we have. The Most of our um, website trainings are going to be shown on Tuesday, but you can also see the other trainings that we do have available uh, Monday through Friday. They're always going to be at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, sorry. All right, so hmm. all right, so if you guys are wanting to add this training calendar to your um your email calendar, your your uh, KW email address calendar, um, you can do so also by clicking on this little plus down here in the bottom right hand corner. Um, this way that you can always stay up to date with what we have going on in our training classes, um, and you will never miss one of those. You can also access that under our resources. And you go to training. And you can also find it under training calendar. So again, you can add this to your calendar by simply clicking on this little plus mark down here at the bottom. All right, so we're gonna do the scroll down to the bottom um, below, and then we have a little link that's gonna show you here um, before launching your new KW website. Um, this is just letting you, um, showing you how you can save some of your content that you may already have previously created on your KW website. So like any of the custom landing pages or things like that, because once you upgrade to the new um, agent KW websites, um, you will lose that information. So if you have any active landing pages, any active custom pages, once you upgrade it, you will not be able to edit those. So this is going to show you how you can save some of that before you launch the new websites. You have little tabs down here as well. So prefer, pre preserve your landing pages, save your existing school search, things like that. Scrolling down a little bit more, we have the next section, which is going to be once you, once you have launched your KW website, um, this is going to show you things like adding testimonials, manage how you can manage your featured listings, create an open house sign-in page, um, and all kinds of great things. They actually just unrolled a bunch of new features as well, um, which we will be going over um, today as well for the new agent websites. And then down here at the bottom, you do have KWRI provided articles about the new agent websites as well. Um, these are going to be great things, um, great articles provided by KW. Um, which I do have open here as well. 
Um, if you've never looked, taken a look at these articles by KW, it's just answers.kw.com. They have all kinds of great information on all kinds of things, uh, command and DocuSign. They actually show you two step by step with pictures um, and where to go and how to do uh, basically anything you're looking for. So now we're going to go over to our command. All right, so with the new sites, we're going to go ahead and click on our consumer tab down here at the bottom. If you've been with KW a while, um, again, you may remember that on the old KW sites, any content added to the website or any um, adjustments such as a uh, headshot photo, um, things like that, um, your contact information, all of that had to be updated manually. Um, now with the new websites, oh, I'm actually going to show you um, from here. Um, so now all the information that updates onto your KW agent website is no longer going to be done manually through the actual website. You're going to be updating this information through your marketing profile, which your marketing profile can be found by clicking on your name up here in the top right hand corner. And you're going to click on settings. And then we're going to come right over here to our connect settings. And then we're going to go ahead and click on marketing profile. All right. So this is going to be our marketing profile. Everything on here, again, is going to be what pulls over into your um, website. So if you see over here, you're going to see there's a little toggle switch. Um, this is going to make sure that all your information here is being branded over to your website and app. If this is not toggled on, that information will not pull over and you will have just a generic looking um, the kw.com website. So you want to make sure that this information is being branded over to you. As we go through here, um, you'll see that some things do have a little red asterisk. Um, that means that it is a required field. Um, so your photo, um, this could be your headshot if you have one. If you don't have a, a professional headshot, not a problem. Um, you can just use a nice photo or a generic logo of KW if you'd like. Um, keep in mind, this photo does need to be a perfect square. So like recommend the size about 360 by 360. Um, for it to look normal in here. Otherwise, it's going to distort it and you'll kind of look like one of those funhouse mirrors to where you're like long and skinny or short and uh, stout. So make sure that it is um, a perfect square. Now, the team logo, the team logo is not a recommend, is not a required field, but we do highly recommend it as this, um, as this photo, there is a little image well, um, on this, I'm sorry, when you create a smart plan or a campaign, there is a little spot down at the bottom that's going to show your photo and then next to it on the opposite side, it's going to have a spot for team logo. If you do not have a photo loaded in here, it will show as a broken image on there. So if you uh, if you add a photo here, it's not going to show broken. It's going to show this. So if you use if you have like a team logo, um, a personal business logo, if you want to use a generic KW logo. Uh, we suggest using something like that. And again, it's going to be the recommended same size as the, the um, headshot. Scrolling down, we have My Details. Um, so this is where you can add things like your license number, your job title. Um, if you are on a team, you can put the team name here. Or you can just put like Team Scott Leroy. You can get, create something catchy if you'd like. There's also a spot to add your designations and credentials. Below that, we have any affiliations, such as military affiliations. When you click on the dropdown, you'll see that there are many different options. Even supporter patriot, say you weren't actually in the military, but you're a big supporter, you can add that as well. If you were active duty, when you click on this, it's going to give you another box to select what branch of military you're from. Or if you were part of the military in another country, um, you'll be able to find those as well. So it does give you plenty of options. 
The biography section, it is a required field as well. However, if you don't have a professional biography created, not a problem. We just recommend possibly like putting a period there. Um, that way it will hold that place and allow you to save and move on um, until you are able to get a biography added. Below this, we're going to have our contact information, home phone, office phone, um, your email address, and your website URL. Below that's going to be our market center information. And then we come to our compliance. If you are, if you, um, if you're part of a market center that has a lot of um, compliance restrictions, things that need to be added, this is where they are going to go. You can add your links here with your URLs to the um, different drives. Um, typically, if we set up your accounts, we do have this information. We will create this for you during our setup process. Um, but if you need to add another link, you can just click add another link, enter the link title and the URL here. You can also delete by simply clicking on the little red trash cans if you need to remove anything. This legal footer square right here, um, we don't really recommend adding any kind of images to this unless it's like, say, like the realtor logo or like the fair housing logo. As this comes out of, as a very small um, as a very small image on the website, it's very tiny. You won't be able to see much of anything. So we just recommend if you add anything to it, it would just be something like that, like the realtor logo or the fair housing. All right, and then below that, we do have our social media links. These links do connect to under the contact, um, contact me section under your photo. There is little sections where they can click on the Facebook, Twitter, um, anything like that to be able to reach your reach you via social media. And then below that, we do have our Google Analytics ID. So if you have Google Analytics set up already and you have your tracking ID number, you can add it here. But there is also one other place that you will need to add it in the website, which we will show you as well. Um, if you do not have Google Analytics ID, and this is something that maybe interests you, Google Analytics, basically, it just tracks um, any activity on your website. Um, you can reach out to us um, actually on our website. I believe on our website there is. Or you can just simply email us um, and ask to assist with setting up Google Analytics ID. We'll email you back with what we need to do that, and then we'll get started on that. All right, so once you're done, you um, have ev added everything that you need. Just make sure you click save. Everything's up to date. Make sure you save your page. All right, so we are now going to go back over to our consumer icon which is going to be the bottom last icon on the left-hand side here. Now, I know we did have some more people join us after a little a little late today. Hey, guys, if you have any questions, feel free to drop your questions in the chat. Um, I will circle back to them at the end, or I may just jump in in between um, certain segments of today. I um, would be more than happy to get those answered for you. If you have a lot of different questions um, and you want to just create a list, you can send us an email with your list of questions to support at scottlaroymarketing.com, where we have uh, amazing representatives that will be able to get those answered for you as well. All right, so I'm just going to give it another second. We're going to go ahead and uh, have everybody join here on our consumer tab. Guys, if you do see this, if you do not see this giant bluish green um, bar right here that says manage my website, then most likely your website has not been updated to the new agent sites yet. So this means that you are most likely still using the older version. And I would recommend going back to our um, our website, agent resources, and then going to the new KW agent sites and then following along with those to get your site updated. All right, so once we're on our consumer tab, we're going to look go over this um, home page right here. So under the website settings, you have your subdomain. Uh, this is going to be the domain that is used to uh, go to your website. So when you go to scholarymarketing.kw.com is what you would use to go to our website. 
Keep in mind that they no longer use the www dots anymore. Some websites do the older ones, but new websites no, are no longer using them. If you enter the www dot and then the rest of it, it will not populate anything. It will show that it is not a valid URL. So you just have to remove those, those www's. Um, if you wanted to update your subdomain, say you are creating a team or you are have like a, a business team, a business name you want to use, you can do so by just clicking in and typing in there and then clicking save. Right below that, you're going to see your app URL settings. This is going to be your app URL code. Um, so whenever you uh, send this to your clients, um, and they click on the um, app, say from their phone, it will take direct them to download the consumer app straight on their device. I do recommend also possibly copying this link and creating a QR code that you can use um, on your digital marketing. You can include in emails, things like that. So they can just scan it straight with their phone and download it and make it a little easier. But this is your app URL. This is not able to be edited or changed. Um, so you just can simply click copy and then do um, and then send it. Okay. All right. So below the app URL setting, we have the team referral links. Uh, this information is managed by like um, market center your sorry by your market center leader. Um, to make any changes, you would need to contact them. But you do have your team website URL. Now, this is if you um have if you are part of a team, and you have um already created your team websites through command, um, and updated all of that. You'll have your team website URL, your team app link, and then your team member app link. So. Those are going to be three different things that you can use um, for your marketing, and that'll direct your clients to those different places. So just make sure you understand which one you are using. Using We do have videos on these, and we do have trainings on these as well. Below that, we do have preferences. This is going to be your um, Keller Home Loans um, on the app and site, um, Keller Covered, and Display Neighborhoods as well. Below that, we have forced registration. Forced registration is how you can control um, property visitor, like how many times a visitor on your website can view properties. So if you have somebody that's on your website and they're just, they, you know, they view one or two properties, then you can have it to where they will automatically have to register an account. When they register that account, that information is going to go into your command database. So it does save that information. It does allow you to be able to contact them using that information at a later time. If you don't want to force anybody to have to register, you can leave it as unrestricted as well. Um, but that is completely up to your discretion. Make sure once you, again, once you have any made any changes, just to click save changes as you're going. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and click on edit my website. All right, so this is what it's going to look like on the back end of your website where you can make updates, where you can um, kind of customize your website a little bit. Now, I'll be honest, 100% honest, KW, like, you are able to edit and customize and add pages and things like that, but there are some things you are not just not able to do. Um, so just be mindful of that. You can always reach out to us with any questions about the website edits and customization, and we'll be more than happy to help you. So uh, right here at the top, you're going to see check out your website here. This is going to be your website URL. Um, this is just the direct link, the same as where we had the URL on the previous page. This is just an actual link that you can click. Um, in the top right, you can find by clicking on here too, if you by clicking here, if you would like to take a tour, um, this is a KW provided tour of the websites. You can find that in this blue button.
Now, keep in mind, too, if you are on a team and you do have the team website set up, you are able to access the team website by clicking on your name up here in the top right. And you will see that there's other options that pop up. You'll see your team name. If you are part of staff, um, you will see your staff link as well. This is where you're able to um, see and up make updates to the Marcus Center website also. So if you see multiple things here, that's most likely what they are. So over here in our quick start box area, you're gonna see that we have a few quick start uh, buttons. So the first one that you have um, is going to be our blog post. I'm sorry, what you read? All right, so our blog post is going to be the very first one. So the blog post is going to, over here on the, um, the left-hand side, you're going to see that it does give the option to add a headline. Uh, the headline is a required field. When you start typing in, you'll see that anything that you add does currently does automatically start adding over here to the um, right hand side. I'm sorry. I actually went to the wrong one. I'm sorry. I'm going to go back to real quick. So the default page is we're going to click on the blog list page here. All right, so these blogs are already added to your website. Um, so newly launched site, these are automatically provided with a four-part buyer guide. Um, so you should be seeing that on your website already. And then any additional blogs that you will need um, that you would need to be manually added, you'll be able to do so by the um, drop down where I was just showing you a second ago, but we'll go back over to that. All right, so you can click on um, any of these and you'll be able to see which what they are. The part one, your first time home buyer's guide, gives you a little introduction. You can click on page heading. And this is going to give you the option to uh, update this information, the blog banner. If you want to remove it, you can click on this little red line here. You also have the next section that shows take it from our experts. Here's that section. So this is where the, you're going to see these four different part blogs. So the part one, uh, three, two, four, which I'm not sure whether out of order. So this is what this preview window is a kind of cool interactive as well. Um, so you can see what it looks like and click on it. So if you want to edit the part one, you're able to do so by just clicking on this little box here. And this is going to bring up your um, pre-saved content that you that you may have created and saved already. You can click on this box down here and you can add custom page um, or add of, in other templates as well. If you wanna create something new, you can click on new. And then you can go ahead and create the new blog post this way. So as you can see here, this is going to bring you to a blank blog post page to where you can add your headline. And again, as you type, it should it may take just a second, but there it goes. Um, it comes over here. You can see it in the preview window. If you'd like to add a sub, uh, a sub headline, you can do so right here in this box. 
Um, you can add hero images or videos. So when you click on image, it's going to bring you a drop down field, which you'd have to click on. And you can add a preloaded image that one that you may have already added, or you could also let me go back. I don't know what I did there, sorry. Okay. So image, and then when you click on it, you can click new image and you can upload it from your computer this way. So that's if you would like to add an image, which I have it selected. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add that image back. You can add captions and you can even insert links. And then you have more um, So you can see as you're typing, it's going to show down here, which I know it looks pretty small. But when you actually go to the website, it does look a little better. And then as you type and add spaces, which you can also edit, the, make it bold, you can underline it, you can do all kinds of different formatting options with this as well. All right, so I'm just going to go, to go back, but make sure once you like what you see, once you've created, you're going to click Publish. All right, and then once it's published, you're just going to go to click back. And then you're going to click add. And then the blog post that you just created, you should see right here. Now that you'll see that it's added. And then you'll see it right here show up with the others. You are able to also drag and rearrange this to wherever you would like. Um, if you don't want these preloaded blog posts, you don't have to. You can simply click these red lines and remove them as well. Once you like everything, that's the layout, the way you have everything set up, you can just go ahead and click save. And then that is going to save it to your website. I'm just going to go ahead and click out of here. But and another way that you can always return back to your dashboard is just clicking on this Keller Williams logo right here, and it'll take you back. All right, under the um, under the blog post, we have our homepage. All right, so. Somebody's been doing a lot of work in here, sorry. All right, so under the first section, we have our listing module search. So for the listing module search, you'll see that we have our, sorry, give me. Oh, so for the first um, section we have here, you see these images. These are the images that are going to be displaying here in our background. Um, so you can add images by uploading your files, um, uploading any files from your computer. So you can choose files, choose a folder, or you can click on add images. And then it's going to add another square here. Um, and this is going to allow you to upload a third photo for this. <clears throat> um, these were images that were set that are no longer being used for here. So this is how you can update the hero images or the background carousel images that you are seeing currently on your back um, in this area. 
future properties. So with future properties, there is a couple different ways that you can have this set up. Um, so first you can choose if you want future properties to even be displayed on your website or not. If you want to change the title instead of future properties, if you wanted to say um, something else such as like, check out these, these hot listings, so, you know, it's up to your preference, whatever you'd like. You can also have a description. Now here where it says add listings and then you see where it says dynamic, you can have either dynamic or basic. Um, the basic option is going to be um, where you can add listings one by one. You choose what listings are on there. Um, and that's basically you control what's being shown. Or if you have dynamic, you're able to choose a center point. Um, so if you wanted to choose a specific address, if you wanted to choose a city, you can do that as well. And this is going to show a certain number of listings. So say 10 listings per 10 mile radius of this centered point. So that's pretty cool. It'll show any of the listings in that area. Um, I kind of think this might be a little off sometimes, but just keep in mind too, if you are licensed in, you know, a certain area and you're really close to a border of another state and you're not licensed in that state. So just be mindful of your location and using this feature like this. Um, you are also able to, instead of just pulling in random listings um, within a certain mile radius, you can still also add listings that you may have by going down to pin listings and still typing in by the address or the MLS number. These listings that you add here will be the first ones to show up. So if you add two of them, the first two will be the ones that you create, and then the rest will be the ones from the dynamic options. Featured listings by, you can do my listings or my affiliate brokerages or market centers. Um, filtered listings, there are filtered options as well that you can choose for what you want displayed on your website. All right, so the next section we're going to go to is the feature testimonials. Again, you have the option to hide, um, to display this or hide it if you'd like to. Um, you can also update the title um, if you want something else to be displayed. Um, there is the basic or the dynamic again. Um, so when you go to testimonials under basic, you're going to um, see that there is this one. Um, once you click on the, the box, anytime somebody has left you a review on your website, it does not automatically add to your website. If you want to change it, you want to add them, you want to remove them, you do have to manually go in and do this. So when you go in and you just click on the add button, you'll see that um, you do have some favorited listings. You also have other listings, that, I'm going to keep saying listing reviews in here as well. So you just click on the review that you'd like to see. You can go back and click the plus to add another one. Let's say Brittany S. And you see it's working. Um, sometimes the update just takes a moment. But... So now you'll see that these are being added to our um, featured testimonials. Again, you can add, I believe I want to say it's like tw 12 and maybe nine. One, I think the old website was 12 and this one's nine, but you can add a, a decent amount of them. And then you can just go in and anytime you have new ones come in, you can filter out an old one. You can just switch it up. There is also the dynamic option where you can sort by the newest public um, the newest published date. Uh, you can have max number to be displayed. So this one is nine. Filtered. Um, you can filter by you know star rating, state, zip code, city, and then you can add them again, the same way as you did before. Uh, and then your blog list, um, basically it's the same thing we just went over. Um, you can have max number to display. If you have a, create a whole bunch of blogs, um, you can display just a couple of them. You can add them here. A 
and then you can just select them. Now, again, once you have everything updated, um, you know, you're happy with what you've selected, just make sure you click save. There you go. And it'll obviously let you know if you're missing something. So once everything's saved, you'll see that the screen bar does pop up. It lets you know it was saved, when it was saved, and then you can click return to dashboard. All right, and then the next section we're gonna go to is this about the agent. All right, so we have the agent profile. Um, you can either hide or display it. Um, ours, I think ours is because our market marketing profile is turned off. It's not showing on here. <clears throat> um, we also have my details. Um, you can add any details you want. Um, about here about you on here. You have about me. And then you also have my preferred vendors. So if you want to add your preferred vendors, um, this is where you can go do it from here. So what you're going to want to do is when you click my preferred vendors, um, you're going to see that there is this little uh, box right here that has um, little text. It says to set up account to add or edit vendors, click this link. So you're going to click on this link. Oh, I think I have my pop-up blockers turned on. There it goes. And then it's going to bring you to this, um, this page that looks like this. So you're going to want to go ahead and go over here to add vendor. And then you're just going to go ahead and fill out this information, your um, vendor's name, if your vendor has a uh, website URL, um, if the vendor has a specific point of contact. Um, so you can add that point of contact's name, um, like a rep, a rep that comes into your office for that company. You can add their email, phone number, um, what type of vendor it is. You can select what counties they um, service. And then you can also add a logo here. Um, once you're done, just make sure you click add vendor. Um, and then this is going to add this vendor to your page. So you have your title, my preferred vendors. Again, if you wanna change it, that's up to your preference. Um, this is where it will show down here under the my details on the about me page. Um, your description. And then any um, of your market center partners, any of the, the affiliated partners that your market center has added, you can choose if you don't want them on there, you don't have to, you can shut those off here as well. Again, once everything's been adjusted to your liking, make sure you click on save. and look for that green bar up here and then click return to dashboard. All right, so the next thing we're gonna go ahead and talk about is we're gonna talk about some of these quick start options. Um, so when the new websites first came out, there was not a really an option to create a landing page for a listing. The way that it was to um, basically use like a, a property detail page, um, like a landing page to send to your clients about a specific listing was to be, was to go to your website directly and type in the address. And then once you find it, the address, 
you would just click on the um, property. I don't know what this is doing. There it goes. You would just click on the property directly. And then this, you would just use this URL to show all the property details, the images, things like that. Well, recently within the past couple of weeks, they now have a quick start option for a property landing page. Uh, we did just create a tip video on this as well. So this is definitely something that you can always refer back to later on. So it's a feature listing. You can search by address or the MLS. Um, let's just see if there's a 92. Let's see what pops up. Perfect. San Francisco. Um, there's going to be a page title here. So there's multiple different things you can do with this. Um, you can do like check it out. You can just do the uh, 92 LePage Street. Well, you can do like welcome to 92 LePage Street, whatever works best for you. Now, as you go down this image, um, this is going to be a default listing image. You can also do a custom image or custom video. If it is a custom video, the video link does have to be hosted on like YouTube or something like that in order to use the video. Or you can click custom image and then load it from your images here, or you can add, create the new image down here. But we're just gonna go ahead and use the default listing image. So the um, property listing, um, your core details, this is going to be your property. Um, you can do the property title. What was the 92 the page? So when you start doing, when you do this property title, you're going to see what you put here is going to show up here right above the details in this detailed box. Um, so you can make it kind of catchy, whatever you'd like to do up to you. Then you have all of these little toggle switches that you can hide the title, you can hide the category. Um, if you don't want all of this information showing, basically this is what you are able to use to hide some of that. All right, and then the next section is going to be the agent information. Um, the agent information and the Yeah, these two are not um, able to be edited. Um, there's really no information that you can adjust or remove on here. The property landing map view, it does give you the option to hide um, if you, the, pro the property, I'm sorry, the property map view, you can hide this if you would like. Um, you do have your contact me, which is going to bring the contact me section right here. And then you can also add modules by clicking the add module button at the bottom. Um, and you can um, add like a, another contact me form if you want to, you could add Let's see what this one looks like. Um, and then you are able to also, um, any of these that you, um, you are also able to adjust the way they are placed on here by dragging and dropping them. I don't know why I highlight some of you do that. So then it just kind of adjusts where they are. So if you want the contact me page to be higher up, if you want it to just make sure it stays at the bottom, whatever works best for you. Uh, once everything has been um, adjusted, created to your liking, you can even view it by clicking this little pop out window. And this is going to show that main image. It's going to have the information that was shown. You can have your image carousel. Um, it's going to have the contact box. 
and then it's going to have a map and the contact me section. So once everything is um, set to your liking, just make sure again, you're gonna hit publish. I always, I always recommend doing publish um, before, you know, once you get everything the way you like it. And then this, you can do this next part just so you don't mess anything up. So you have your landing page. And then over here on the right-hand side is where you're gonna have your URLs that you can use. So um, you can click add. And then you can do like 92, 92 Lepage Street. And then it's going to be um, K, KW Agent Site. It's going to be a permanent link. And then just click Publish again. So now when you you can right click on that or just click on it. It's going to bring you to, I don't know why it said just check it. Oh, that's what it was. I'm, my apologies. So whatever you put here is what's going to automatically default as the main URL. So if you want it to be, like I said, this is a brand new feature. <laughs> so I went over it a few times and I'm just making sure. So 92 La Pitt Street. Let's just go ahead and save that. So we're going to change that URL to there we go. So now it's going to be your website URL. So scholarwaymarketing.kw.com. And then it's going to be backslash whatever you put for that URL. So 92 Lepage Street or whatever you may put. So just keep in mind when doing the page title, that is what's automatically going to default for the main URL. You are able to create another URL, um, which is going to direct it back to that main one, kind of like a domain forward. I'm going to do like test URL. So now when we go to scholarmarketing.com slash test URL. Oh, I'm sorry, I did that, forgot the dot kw.com. it's going to take you to the same website. All right, so now that you have your URLs created, um, again, this is going to be a landing page. This is a landing page. So this will not show on your actual website. Um, landing pages are just kind of like a one-off page from your website. Um, if you're wanting to create something that's going to show on your website, that will be a custom page, which I will show you how to do a custom page now. All right. So again, under these quick start options, you have your custom page. Custom page is going to be a page that is added to your website. So first we're going to do um, page title. Let me see real quick. Sorry, bear with me just a moment. All right, so, um, so the page title, let's see, we're, we're just going to start with module because I'm going to make sure that these ones are here real quick. Yeah, so we're going to do a home value search. No. 
I'm sorry. With the new updates, things are going a little different crazy places. All right, so we'll come back to the custom page and say, I'm sorry, guys. All right, so one of these quick start options that you have is the mortgage calculator um, that you can just click on this quick start option. And you're going to see that this automatically does add the mortgage calculator in for you. It fills out the page title, um, the internal name. If a lead is added, it will appear before the content. You can add a uh, page heading, team lead. Um, and basically, once this is added, all you have to do is click publish, and it's going to publish that to your page. And then you can just click return to dashboard. Um, I, same thing with the Why Work with KW page. It's going to provide you with a page title. It's going to provide with a lot of great information on why um, a client should work with Keller Williams agents. And you're just going to click publish. Um, the custom page. I feel like they may have done an update that I am not aware of at the moment. Apologies, guys. So we do have, um, I'm sorry, we do have some um, custom videos on our website, on our YouTube channel about um, how to do custom pages. Um, it looks like there may have been an update, but I'm not recognizing a couple of these things on here. But we will make sure that I have all the greatest and latest updated information with this for you on our YouTube channel. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording.